Hello friends, already in my previous video, I have discussed in detail how you can calculate convolution of two sequence uh, in MATLAB. Okay, and in my this video, I am going to discuss application of convolution. Okay, you know where convolution is used with respect to signals and systems or digital signal processing domain. That is if I have the uh, transfer function uh, response of an LDI system and if I have the input sequence, then I can uh, calculate the output sequence using the convolution. But apart from that particular domain, where convolution concept can be used that's what i am going to discuss here convolution is a very useful tool widely used in many places but in case of polynomial multiplication also which is bit different from this particular signal processing domain in the pol polynomial multiplication also we can use this convolution concept how see i have in two polynomials x square plus 5x plus 1 and another one is 3x square minus 10x plus 15. Now, if I ask you, you have to multiply these two polynomial and you have to return the coefficients after multiplication, then how you will do? This is simple basic math. Already you have studied this uh, in class 3 or 4 in school level mathematics. First, we will take one coefficient x square and we will multiply with uh, x square with all the uh, uh, terms of the second polynomial so that i have splitted it here x square into second polynomial that is 3x square minus 10x plus 15 plus second term of the first polynomial is 5x so 5x into 3x square minus 10x plus 15 plus 1 into 3x square minus of 10x plus 15 right now we just do multiply 3x square into x square is 3x to the power 4 minus of 10x cube plus 15x square plus 5x into 3x square is 15x cube uh, 5x into 10x is minus of uh, 50x square and 5x into 15 is nothing but 75x and here as you are multiplying the second polynomial with 1 so it will sit as it is so 3x square minus 10x plus 15 now if you simplify this particular expression you will get this one see 3x to the power 4 plus 5x x cube minus 32x square plus 65x plus 15 right now if i give the coefficients of the first polynomial 1 5 and 1 and if i give you the coefficients of the second polynomial 3 minus 10 and 15 and if i ask you to calculate the multiplication polynomial coefficients how you will write the code that will be a challenging question obviously and if you consider different service and product company based placement process in the uh, domain of java c c plus plus it is a very popular question widely asked in different interview also and uh, but I, in this particular session i am not going to discuss with respect to java c c plus plus later in some other video i will discuss but here i am going to show you the application of convolution in the computation of the result of polynomial multiplication if you have the coefficients of the two polynomials that is first co first polynomial coefficients is uh, if the polynomial is x square plus 5x plus 1 then the coefficients will be respectively 1 5 1 and if uh, if you have the second polynomial as 3x square minus 10x plus 15 then the second polynomial coefficients will be 3 minus 10 and 15 so basically if you write like this 1 5 1 this is the coefficients of the first polynomial and 3 minus 10 and 15 which is respectively the coefficients of the second polynomial then if you calculate the convolution of these two the convolution result will be same as the multiplication result of the polynomial see how beautiful it is see if you consider this as first um, suppose this is x of n and this is hn or transfer uh, system response and this is our input if you have to calculate the convolution using matrix method how you write see 3 minus 10 and 15 and 1 5 1 and matrix method multiply with, uh, 1 with all the coefficients so 1 into 3 3 1 into minus 10 10 1 into 15 15 then multiply 5 with all the coefficients 5 into 3 15 5 into minus 10 minus 50 5 into 15 75 then multiply 1 with all the coefficients 1 into 3 3 1 into minus 10 minus 10 1 into 15 15 now diagonally add and here we are not going to add left diagonal obviously we are going to use right diagonal or off diagonal or secondary diagonal right so 3 15 minus 10 is how much 15 minus 10 is 5 
then 3 plus uh, th uh, 3 plus minus 50 plus 15 is minus 32 minus 10 plus 75 is 65 and 15 so our coefficients uh, there is a convolution result is 3 5 minus 32 65 and 15 and if you observe our uh, polynomial multiplication result also have the same coefficients 3 5 minus 32 65 and 15 okay all right so basically what we are getting that the convolution result and the multiplication polynomial uh, coefficients are basically same only so basically in this way we can use the convolution for polynomial multiplication so let me show you in matlab for verification purpose see the same code whatever i have written for the convolution using matrix multiplication in my previous video same code i have taken just instead of that i have uh, instead of taking input uh, sequence x and h i have taken one function function y is equal to multiply is our function name x and h are respectively the polynomial coefficients okay get one empty matrix i have taken this particular for loop you know this is used to generate this particular matrix see this particular matrix we have to generate now so for that we are using this for loop and after that uh, for the di right diagonal addition we have to use this particular part if you check my previous video uh, I, I already uh, post uh, the link in the description if you check you will understand how this algorithm works okay so let me show you this simulation control a okay no need to do control a because i am i have uh, saved this as a function so let me directly take the first uh, sequence uh, first polynomial coefficients 151 okay so 151 and my second goes here second polynomial coefficients are 3 minus 10 and 15 okay so 3 minus 10 and 15 all right now if i write y equal to multiply x comma h what coefficients you are getting see this is nothing but the result of the polynomial multiplication 3 5 minus 32 65 15 all right see here uh, our result 3 5 minus 32 65 15 it, would, it contains the polynomial uh, multiplication polynomial coefficients okay so in this way the convolution can be used in the uh, um, uh, polynomial multiplication okay so this is widely asked interview question uh, this may help you in uh, your dsp lab exam also uh, the faculty may ask the question in this twisted format okay so have a uh, just just remember this particular concept anyway this code is uh, nothing new to you if you have seen my previous video the same only i have taken uh, although i will post the same code in the comment section if you want you can check that thank you for watching